Hey, what's up, Twin Lakes? Renee here, out doing one of my favorite hobbies these days, as I've talked about, which is stand-up paddleboarding. I wanna to talk to you about loneliness. All the stats say that we Americans are in an epidemic of loneliness, which is contributing to our mental health problems. And there's something we all need in our lives that can help fight that. And it happens to be the name of this boat right next to me. Do you see that? Ohana. You know what Ohana means in Hawaiian? It means family. And that's what you and I need is Ohana, family. And the good news is God puts us in a family, the family of God. Ephesians 2.19 says, you are now no longer strangers and aliens to each other, but you are all co-citizens with God's people and members of one family. It doesn't say that we are like a family or we operate something approximate to a family. It says we are a family, you and me, brothers and sisters, the people who sit in the pews with you. Those are your parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles, brothers, sisters, nieces, nephews in the family of God. But too often we treat each other these days like strangers and aliens, right? Dividing and fighting each other. Consequently, we get more and more lonely. So let's fight that. Let's get into Ohana groups. You know, we're starting small groups this fall when we launch our new fall series on the life of Joseph. We're calling it, You'll Get Through This because Joseph went through so many brutal ups and downs in his life, and yet God got him through it. Other people meant things for evil in Joseph's life, but God meant it for good. I know his story is going to encourage you, and it'll encourage you even more if you study it in a group. So I encourage you to go to tlc.org slash small groups and sign up to be in a home group, a small group, and let's study the life of Joseph together. We're gonna to base it on some great curriculum from Max Lucado called You'll Get Through This. But you know what might motivate you? Instead of thinking of them as small groups or home groups or even kind of book groups, think of them as Ohana groups, as family groups. And let's learn together and grow closer together as fellow members of God's household. Hope you join us for that fall study series together. God bless you. Have a great day, my Ohana.